Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me doing a bonus question. So let's do one together. Haven't done it yet. Uh, let's see. How many problems do I even need? I don't even know. But all right, let's 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 do a random one. And hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about today's bonus question, as I always do. Uh, I may end this series soon. I mean, it was a good month, but I do it, but it seems like no one is really... Uh, not no one. Uh, if you're watching this, I appreciate you, uh, of course. But I feel like uh, maybe this isn't the best use of my time, so I don't know. Uh, let me know in comments if you really enjoyed the bonus questions and if you're doing it with me or and if you want to see more. Anyway, today's problem is 1042, Flower Planting with no adjacent. A lot of downwards. Anyway, you have N gardens labeled from 1 to N, N, and array paths. Oh, yeah, it's August 18th, by the way. I don't know. I just feel like in the future I may forget it. So this is more for a future larvae. Okay. So you have one to end, uh, you have a garden from one to end, paths where paths of I is X of I, da, 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 da. what does that even mean? Oh, okay. So it's just showing that, uh, yeah. What does X and the Y mean? Hmm. That's weird. But okay. So for example, it has one to two. All gardens have at most three paths in and out. You're trying to choose a flower type for each garden such that any two gardens can have they have a different type of flowers. Return any such choice. Okay. So they want adjacent ones to have different flowers. Um I think this is because there are only at most three paths coming in and out. It you can just greedy. It, you know, you could use the pitch and hole principle, right? Meaning if this is one, then you just choose the one that that um, you haven't done it before, and technically speaking, if you want to think about it, it's it's greedy with uh, what's it called the max, which is um, maximum x queen, something like this. I don't know if I spelled that right. Um, or is it max minimum x queen? Of of course, um, minimum x uh, not maximum because maximum can just be infinity. But yeah. Um, and that's basically it, really. So you have paths for um, do, 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 do. We could we could implement something like the way that I always do is just have edges. Is you go to a, I like edge list instead, so I always convert it to edge list. Mm, you know, you may do it in another way, perhaps. Uh, is are these one indexed? Yep, they have one index. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna convert it to. Something like that, right? Um, and then now, it it it's what we said. So we, we can do a breakfast search. Um, what what are the colors? Just one, two, and three, and four. Yeah, I mean that that's fine. So yeah, um, let's see. So we just set the. Do they always have a thing? I guess not. So okay. So then we have colors. Is equal to. Let's just say none times n. I like big n. Um, and then now we just go one by one. So for i in range of n, if colors of i is equal to none or is none, then we want to break. But I, I want to breakfast search. You could run anything you like, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to want to breakfast search, I think. Yeah, that's fine. And then that's pretty much it. And then we turn colors afterwards, I think, is probably the idea. Uh, and then, duh, 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 or start maybe. And then here, we this is just standard breakfast search. Uh, uh, or, you know. <sighs> we just have to be careful because we want to define the colors when we relax them yeah I guess so because you can really uncue it afterwards at least not in an easy way I mean maybe you can but yeah maybe we can we can actually but um yeah and then colors of start is you gonna was it one two three four one and then yeah, for you know, while length of Q is greater than zero, current is equal to Q dot pop left, 
and then here we go for v in edges of current right what do we do um well if colors of v is equal to is none then we do color things to it um yeah and then yeah uh q dot append v next and that's pretty much the idea we have to do some color things there so colors of v is equal to maybe we just do a um, max of v or something like this um and yeah and then here we go do, 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 do. we have a, a node and here we just look through edges of node so s is equal to let's just say the set of this now we well we want order um colors of v for v in edges of node something like this um where we want to filter out the none uh if v is not not or with colors of v is not none something like that right and then now we want to see the smallest number in there right so for i in range from one to five just if i is not in s then we return i that's pretty much it um someone like this but let's run it real quick might have typos but hopefully this is right okay this is not right at all <laughs> why is that dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we set colors to one, and then here, mm, let's see, print node, and then S. Maybe I messed this up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, well, this is not calling this at all, so. Why is this not calling this at all? Hmm. Oh, because I forgot to append start. Okay, that's a silliness. <laughs> Okay, so that looks good. <laughs> uh, I feel like I feel like I did get most of it right recently, but still a lot of like just silly typo things. Um, so this looks good. So let's give it a spin. I mean, the answer is not going to match directly, but but you can prove by pigeonhole that this is going to be correct. Just because any solution that where you don't have conflicting edges can correct because there's at most three paths, right? So yeah. Uh, so this looks good. What is the complexity here? Well. Each node is go each node and each edge is gonna be processed once. So this is gonna be O of V plus E or N plus E, I guess, depending on how you want to say it. But yeah, so time is O of V plus E and also space is also V plus E. So yeah. Uh that's pretty much all I have for this one. So yeah. Uh it's a very standard E graph problem. Not sure all the downwards, to be honest. Um, I think, I guess it's, I guess it's easy to miss this, and if you miss this, this is a ridiculously hard problem. But if you do see it, and it came up a few times, but I don't know, I'm not sure about the downloads. But uh, yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy. To commend the health, the weekend's almost here, so stay good, and I'll I'll see you soon. Bye bye.